Finally, we are ready to get the action started here. So we're going to go to the third member of our team, Nathan Brooks, and he's going to bring out our archers. All right, let's get things started this afternoon. I want to start off with the senior pro division in fifth place from Bremen, Georgia. Shooting for Dart and Archery, Mark Kesey. Your fourth place qualifier from Windsor, Virginia. Shooting for Hoyt, Joe Pitt. Your third place qualifier is from Columbia, Virginia. First year shooting in the senior pro division. Shooting for Botech, David Pyle. And your second place qualifier from Waxhaw, North Carolina. Shooting for Elite, Keith Ostrom. And he's a stranger to this position, but he's in first place. From Lacona, Iowa, your first place qualifier, Shooting Matthews, Jeff Hopkins. All right, Darren, so there he is, Jeff Hopkins. He's about nine feet tall. Farm boy from Lacona, right. Iowa, the the game is just the same. If you want dominates the this game, it seems like at times. He's still good enough to compete with the open pros. I, I believe he's got that gear still. Uh, I said earlier I shot with him yesterday, and it's fun to watch. Jeff has no fear. I, I don't know if it's from years of, years of experience, if it's years of success to where, you know, it doesn't matter if he finishes first or 15th, he doesn't care. Uh, he does one target at a time and he shoots it like he owns it, and it's fun to watch. <laughs> All right, Darren, so there we see our three-way split screen there. Now, we have not, to, for folks who are tuning in for the first time, just point out some of those bonus rings, yeah, the scoring rings. If you can see a ring like on the on the links, the lowest little circle, that's going to be the low 12. It's in play all the time. You'll see the little stoplight there, the middle ring, the one that Jeff just hit, on that's the left. a 12. Yeah. Yep. The middle ring is just going to score as a 10. They can call that upper 12, which is at the 1 o'clock position. They can call that. There's a good look at Mark Kesey. Mark. Yeah, there we go. So the that ring he's next to, he's outside of the 10, close to the 12, but he's going to get eight points for that arrow right there. The larger ring that we saw there is worth eight points. Anything outside all rings is five points. And, of course, that upper 12, left ring is a 14. Yeah. So there's a 12 for Jeff Hopkins to get things started. And he's going to need to hit those bonus rings to keep these guys from catching him. Next up for Keith Ostrom, currently – Jeff yeah, we'll show some of that scoring ring there because there was there was a ten line and a core line right side by side that folks may be confused by. It. Twelve for Keith. That's twelve Keith for trail. Keith Alstrom. Keep Keith. in touch with Jeff. No, Keith. Keith shoots. Ten, he shoots all uppers, so that should be a ten. ten. Oh, there, there he go. goes. Wow. Yep. Oh, oh, oh yeah. Keith got a ten. Sorry about that. And oh, the, there we go. The tournament official there said Keith called the upper. What that means, they have an orange cone in their box. They have to set that orange cone out in front of them before they shoot. Yeah. Means they're calling to the upper 12 and the lower will no longer be in play. And you mentioned Keith always plays the upper. He always so. shoots at the uppers. This is David Pyle Ten here on the David hyena. David Pyle in his first pro shoot down ever. Good to see yeah. a, a new face get? out there. He listed as his highlight in 2003. He was the Open A Classic champion. So that's just a few years just ago. Just about 20 years ago, <laughs> my master. Right? Look at this guy. It's like Joe Pitt wants to make Joe, Joe Pitt. Pitt. There's a 14. That 14. is awesome. How about that? Now he moves him to 420 right out of the gate. And is taken over second place. That's the way to do it, yeah. there, Joe Pitt. Came in in fourth. After one arrow, he's up to second. Up to that's second. how quick this game can change. And for Mark Keese, we have an eight. Gentlemen, you can move your next Mark target, Mark takes please. an eight. That's going to move him to 413. 
Jeff just has a two-point lead over Joe right now since Joe hit that 14. So Jeff's going to have to keep the gas down to stay out in front of these guys. And everybody that's in third, fourth, fifth, whatever, they don't have anything to lose. So no. they're going to try to really hammer down and catch Jeff. And we've talked about this for Dar before, Darren, but right, this is Martin unknown distance, so they have to ready? judge how Again, far these the targets are. Call. The maximum three, distance four, is 50 eight, yards, five. give or take a yard or two. Yeah. So we do know that that's – the outer limits yep. of what they're going to shoot. Anything, Pretty generally, much. it's going to be 50 or closer. Yeah, half of a football field, if you don't know what 50 yards is, half Pretty the distance of a we'll full-size football minute. field. Now. And with that, if they misjudge by one or two yards, let's say it's 50 and I say it's 48. Yeah, you drop three inches. I'm missing. Yeah. There's missing a, the bonus ring. There's a good look at the 14-ring shooter right there. He's holding nice and steady. I don't know if he called... Hit the upper 12. I don't know. Sure. Oh, yeah, he did shoot. He's on the Coyote. That's right. I don't know if he called it or not. That's a center there. You see the large circle around Mark's hour yeah. right there. That's the 10. So he's going to get 10 points for that arrow. And there was an oblong ring. That's what we call the core line. That's a removable That's pile. Dave's, right. That's Dave's target. pile shooting at the 14 there. We'll see what he ended up with here in a second. 10 for Mark. That's what they're telling me anyway. 423 now. Next for our leader, Jeff Hopkins, currently has. Man, look at Jeff. He always shoots at the lowers. He knows how yeah. far these things are. He now has 14 four in addition four. to having a leading score at 434. He's going to have to continue to do that to win. Next up is Keith Alstrom, currently at 419. <laughs> Jeff, oh, it, it's that hot out. It here. is. He's, you can see the sweat on his arm. Jeff's a mountain of a man. He is leaking. Some, he's leaking some fluid. <laughs> Ten for Keith. So that's going to put him at 429. He's now five points behind Jeff since Jeff David. hit two twelves right out of the gate. I'm sorry, David Pyle on the odd dad, and I don't think he shoots. That odd dad must be pretty close. Yeah. Two for two There's on fourteens, if my eyes are correct. Yeah, that is the closest one. Smoked it. 430 for him. Oh. So he overtakes Keith Alstrom as well, depending on what Joe does here. All right. Now we got Joe Pitt. 12 for Joe Pitt. Oh, wow. 12 for Joe Pitt. 432. So Joe six up in two targets. He shot a 14 and a 12. He's plus six. Came in in fourth place. He's now in second. David with a two-point cushion, and he's just two points off yeah. the lead. Jeff's hit two twelves, and he's only got a two-point lead over fourth place right now. Man, anything can happen in this game. Yeah. If these guys and gals hit rings, it makes it more exciting for everybody, and it's not over until the last arrow shot. Five targets, too. I mean, you can't. Oh, boy, you got to be on your A game. Six if everything works out. Six, yes. There will be a sixth arrow at the end for anyone who is within 10 points of our leader. There's a good look at Keith yeah. Alstrom. I shot with Keith all day today, and he shot a really solid round. Didn't make very many errors, just shot his bow well, shot a really nice line, hit a bunch of 12s, and he put himself in a good position to have a chance to win. Yeah, we should mention this is the senior division, which means 50 and up. You can be 49 if you turn 50 that year. So it's 50 and up. And Keith Alstrom, he only got into the game in his 40s, I think he told me. Yeah, he's 43 not, years. He's so. not been shooting a lot of years. No. So Keith shot at the 14. David Pyle, I don't know if he called up or I can't see the cone, but we're Boy, fixing to see some more scores here. There's a good look at Joe Pitt. All right. First shooting up. that Lynx. Joe Pitt. Let's see what we got here. 10. 10. So we didn't give anything up. 442 now. Keith going to make a move here if he caught that 14 on the audit. This is Kesey. Mark Kesey. Just a 10. So 433 10 for Mark. Kesey. He did not call upper. I see he does not have a cone out. That one hit the upper. But yeah, and we're in the Next third arrow. Leader, if Mark wants to make a move, he's going to have to shoot at 14s. 10 for Jeff Hopkins. 10 for Jeff. 444. Now, here we come to this all dead. Everybody's <laughs> pouncing on yeah, it. Keith, Keith shot at it as well, and it looks like he's got it. About 4 o'clock on the ring. Those arrow holes leave marks, too, so they've got really good references on where to aim right there. Yep. 14 for Keith, so 40. 
four forty three. So now he's only one point behind. The fourteen can make such a huge difference. Such a huge difference. All right. Just one more guy. Okay. <laughs> and for David Pyle, currently at four thirty. David Pyle, did he call that upper? Upper twelve was called. He did, yes. and he yes. got it. Wow, good shooting, fellas. Four forty-two. This is so a man. good race. Look at this. Yeah, Hopkins four forty-four. Keith Austin four forty-three. David Powell four forty-two. Joe Pitt four forty-two, and Mark at four thirty-three. You'll see the updated score shortly on the TV screen. But by my math, we're two points between fourth and or first and fifth right now. There you go. There's an update. Same order. Same order as we came in with. Just a bunch of different points up there. All right. Keep this time, our leader, like Jeff we mentioned, Hopkins anybody that's within 10 points of the leader, field. after we shoot five targets, will go to the last chance archery, last chance arrow. So it's nowhere near over yet. And nobody's really made David, a mistake. All right, no. we'll start your one minute now. So Jeff's going to go, I th well, he's going to probably have to try to 14 that odd ed since everybody else did. There's Keith. He's holding nice and steady. His stabilizer's barely moving. Looking good. And he, as you mentioned, he always calls uppers. Yeah. He got it. And Jeff did not get the 14, so Keith's going to take oh, over the lead right wow. here. That's going to be a four-point swing on first and second. Keith Ostrom has ever won a pro-class ASA no, title. No, no, he has not. I don't want to jinx him earlier. <laughs> I think he just called took the, the lead. That's so ten for David. Well, that's ten for David. David. Powell. Yeah, let's four fifty-two. Four fifty-two. There, we'll get to Keith in a minute. Sure. This is making me sweat. <laughs> Joe, Joe Pitt. Pitt's good follow-through right there. Eight for Joe. Joe got an eight. That's not going to help. That's a four fifty now. You you don't think it's the hundred and ten percent humidity that's making you sweat? It very well could, but this is a pretty good shoot off. It is. Don't know if we're making it exciting or not, but it is a good shoot off. Ten for Mark. Four forty three. And for right. Jeff Hopkins. Here we go. So if he shoots an eight, he shot at the Keith Alstrom shoots a twelve. It's a four point swing. Yeah, Keith and Alstrom there's only one leading. point Keith, separate. Keith will take a three point However, lead. Eight. Eight's going to be an eight. 452. So he's tied with David Powell right now. Keith is going to shoot a 12. Yeah. Keith Alstrom currently at 443. Puts, his, puts him at a 455. Got it. Yep. Wow. Keith wow. Is now our new Keith's got a three-point three point lead. lead. Now, we got Keith now his mind's got to be going, oh. uh-oh, now what do I do? <laughs> you don't change anything, Keith. You 12 this one. Keep going. And make these guys come and get you. 12 bonus rings at this point. Fourth, Joe Pitt at 450. And third, yeah, Keith's a tree trimmer by trade, so he says he's Keith used to this heat. This <laughs> I don't think anybody's we'll used to this heat. I don't believe arrow. that. His wife, Gina, uh, is one of our, I guess, we'll like a range official. She helps with yep, all the sir. scores and updates Kyber. the boards out there. And Absolutely. She's always by his side, and by all of our sides out there when we're shooting our rounds, they're good people. She is a huge help to us at Competition Number Archery Media. There's our leader right two. there. There he is. Got his flip down magnifiers up there. Sweating right. a little bit. <laughs> we'll start There's big minute. Jeff Hopkins There's right Jeff. there. Let's see what he does. He now Jeff Jeff may say, okay, I shot an eight on that all day. Let's 14 this coyote. I wouldn't be surprised. No, That's he was shooting at a 12. Point. He got a 10. Here comes Keith. Keith's in a really good spot. Get you a 10 right here, buddy, at least. 12 would do you really well. Yeah, he's he saw everyone else. He's shooting good enough. It wouldn't surprise me oh, if he 12 oh. it. Good team. Ah, uh, center 10. Yep. Okay. Nothing wrong with that. So Keith's going to take a three point, depending on what David Pyle did. Yeah. Keith's going to take a three point okay, lead. Okay, first up. Potentially into the final Keith arrow. Alstrom. 10 for Keith Alstrom. 10 for Keith Alstrom. 10 for 4, 6, 5. David Pyle. This is David Pyle. 452. Upper 12 was called. Upper 12 was called. Mm. Looks good from here. And there it is. Good shot, Perfect. David Powell. 464. 464. 464. Your first shoot down 13. ever. He's not scared, is he? No, not at all. 
Next up, Joe Pitt. I will say on record, Joe good job, Pitt. David Powell. Ten for Joe Pitt. That's great. Ten for Joe. Four sixty. Still within five points of our leader. It's not over. Mark no. Kesey, currently at four forty-three. Looks like Mark went for that four eighty. Yeah, he looks like he's about two and a half to three inches low from yeah. here. Yeah. And just going to be on says, that. Eight, eight points. For Mark Kesey. 451. So Mark will not make the fifth and her sixth and final arrow. I shot with Mark today. He shot a good round today. He really did. Yeah. He's been, he's been playing a good game lately. Okay. Four, six, two. Wow. Look at that. The scores will update on the screen. 465 for Keith Alston. 464 for David Powell. 462 for Jeff Hopkins. 460 for Joe Pitt. Mark Kesey's going to finish in fifth at 451, but everybody else is shooting. The last, the last chance, last arrow will be lowest score to highest score. So Joe Pitt's going to shoot first, then Hopkins will shoot second, David Powell will shoot third, and then Keith will know exactly what he has to do to try to win his first senior pro tournament. Yeah, and they will uh, get a couple minutes to judge this target. Uh, Scott Parrott is going to either bring out a new one or he's going to move them to a different position. We don't know yet. He is returning arrows to the archers. I would like to see, as close as this race is, something with some distance to really make these guys think and decide. I mean, they they spent two full days and five extra yeah, targets right now. You know, the know give them a chance to, shooters, yeah. you know, earn the, this thing, you know. Right. If you put it at so a real close now, distance, yeah. almost everybody's going to hit it. There's really not much chance. People watch the NASCAR races for the crash. Yeah. I'm not wishing a crash on anybody. But you really got to make the guys think, do I go for the 12? Do I shoot yeah. at the 14? If it's at 25 yards, it's a no-brainer. Yeah. Everybody's going to shoot at the 14, or they should depending on what happens in front of them. But the coyote, pretty small target in general, and it's uh, yeah, it's not easy even when it is close. So It looks like they will be shooting at the coyote, and then what we'll probably see is we'll see Scott Parrott move them to a different position so they're not yes. shooting the exact same uh, distance. I see him out there with his right, range finder. Well, so they've moved them, kind of just you. slid them, yeah. Yeah, the coyote was number five position, so they've moved them over in between three and four, as you can see, and moved them up about three and a half to four yards. So with a, with a, a real tiny bit of geometry or math, um, they're going to have a real good idea of how far this thing is. But it is one of those small targets, and Darren Christianberry. I am nowhere near on the level of these folks, but those small targets, man, they make me nervous. They, well, there's not a lot of room for error. Nope. And if you shoot at the 14, obviously, if you make a mistake, high, low, right, whatever, you could shoot at eight. If you get too far high or too far left, you shoot a five. It makes it a lot easier for the guy to behind you to, yeah. or the guy behind you to, you know, take a spot away from you. So Joe's going to shoot first. He's He needs at least a bonus ring to force David to shoot a bonus ring or no to force Jeff to shoot a bonus ring. Yeah. Um, Joe needs to, So is he going to shoot the 14? I don't know. Probably. I would probably, he can see it. He probably knows how far it is or really, really close. So I think, okay, I think Joe shot. shoots at the 14 here. Yeah. He needs it to force Jeff to hit a ring to get on the podium. He's looking at his odds of shooting for second. And yeah, let's talk about that. The difference between on the podium and off the podium, we're talking thousands of dollars. Thousands of dollars, yeah. Now, third to fourth, it, it, you have manufacturer's contingency, so there is a pretty good bump. Uh, first to third is a bunch. Yeah. Um, the winners get some handsome checks, depending on what equipment they're shooting. But I would think, I would think Joe's going to shoot the 14 right here to force the guys behind him to do something. Why not? Worst he's going to finish is fourth. That's an eight, just oh, low left just of low. it. Good try, Joe. Yeah. So let's see what we got. Joe's got a 468. Jeff shoots next. He's going to need eight points to at least get third. He's six points behind Joe. There is no seven ring, so if he shoots an eight, he's guaranteed podium. 
throwing if he, points behind Keith Ostrom. If he shoots a 12 and David Powell shoots a 10, yeah. then Jeff gets second because of bonus rings. Knowing Jeff Hopkins, he needs – the 14 is really his only path to win. Mm -hmm. And he, he just doesn't go for – he's not like, oh, I want to make the podium. No. He's – he'll – Four, if he shoots at the 14, if he misses and shoots an eight, he gets third. You know, worst case scenario, he yeah. gets third. But he has to 14 it to make the guys in first and second force them to do something. So you're looking at Hopkins there, too. He is shooting a bow called the Matthews Phase 4, which is most commonly known as a hunting bow. But he's been shooting it as shooter of the year status all year. And he got, got it. it. Left side. Oh, oh, man. Yeah, that's what that guy does. <laughs> Four, seven, six. All right, let's see. So he is now. Man. Now, David Powell has to shoot a 12 to tie him, and Jeff yep. still gets him on bonus ring, so David has to shoot a 14. Wow. Yeah, for anybody out there who thinks a hunting bow can't compete at the highest level, <laughs> there you go. Uh, Quote, unquote, hunting bow. He's shooting it good. He is. He's shooting it so good. He talks about it every time I see him. He can shoot any one of the Matthews bows he wants. Mm -hmm. He shoots that one. He shoots it well. I mean, I said earlier, he hits stuff that other people don't hit. You know, we step up to like a 48-yard javelina, and I'm thinking, get you a 10 right here and get on to the next one. Jeff's like, boop, 12. And I'm like, gosh, how do you beat that, you know? He forces you to shoot rings because he's that good. Yeah. There's a good look at David. All right, here's a big arrow. First, First shoot down. Yep. He needs a 14 right here to overtake Jeff. And if he 14s it, Keith will have to 14 it to win. Oh, looks like a 10. That could be a 10. Yeah. I, assume, it's so I close. assume he was shooting at that 14. Let's see what we got. Oh, What's he got? Ten points. Close. He did get it. So four seventy-four. So Keith needs a twelve. If Keith shoots a twelve, he's at a four seventy-seven. He would beat Jeff by one point. If he shoots a ten, he loses. Or he gets second. All right. So walk us through the mental situation right now. Keith Ostrom, he's never won a pro tournament before. He needs a bonus ring on a small target. I think his comfort zone is upper 12. Keith always shoots uppers. He just needs a bonus ring. So aiming at the 14, he might be like, mm, I'm not real comfortable aiming out there. Even though I think he can see it really well, I think Keith's so comfortable shooting upper 12s that he's going to try to hit this 12 to win this tournament. That's my thought. Right. I just think he'd be more comfortable aiming in that 10. Here he goes. Doing his normal thing. If he hits the 12, he wins. Looks comfortable. Got, Got it. it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what a yes. shot. That is it. 477. A lot of the archers are very Ten. stoic individuals, but that's that what was awesome. shooting your first, winning your first pro tournament. That's what it looks like. Right, Good for so Keith right. Alstrom right Keith there. Is He's like, did I hit it? Are you serious? <laughs> I won. Yeah, there he is. <laughs> Great reaction. Oh, that is awesome. <laughs> those lead changes and those desperate wow. Shots come across. Really he well is breathing heavy right now. I see that. <laughs> That's so good. So good. So I'm giving a hug there to Scott Parrott, who shot in that division with Keith for a while. So What a well-earned yeah, win right oh, there. That's incredible. 14s and 14s and 12s, and what a well-deserved win, Keith Alstrom. He's going to come on over here and get to our booth, and we can't wait to talk to him. <laughs> <laughs> He's giving us the thumbs up. <laughs> He's giving oh, us the thumbs so up. Awesome. Goodbye. So, there he is, Keith Alstrom. Hey, buddy. First ever pro class win. You had to shoot a 12 bonus ring on the smallest target out there. How are you feeling right now? Oh, man. It's unbelievable. I, I worked hard for this. <sighs> Hey, it's okay. Catch your, catch your breath, man. Yeah. That's <laughs> awesome. These guys I shoot against are phenomenal. And uh, just to be competing with them, 
for the amount of years I've been shooting is a blessing. And uh, this is amazing. Keith, I shot with you all day today. You shot an awesome round. You 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 fought off a really good shoot off out there to win your first tournament. Checking that box as a classic champion. That's a pretty big deal, buddy. How how are you feeling right now? Uh, overwhelmed, I know, but man, you shot amazing today. I'm overwhelmed, and I did shoot my bow very good today. Uh, stoked, <laughs> buddy. I'm happy for you. Congratulations! What a great weekend. Thank you, buddy. Congratulations, Keith, Senior Pro Classic Champion. Thanks, PJ. <laughs> oh, that was great. Good for him. All right, folks, don't go anywhere. We will be right back with Senior Known Pro from the ASA Classic in Coleman, Alabama. Okay.